Apple just announced some big news for creators. Final Cut Pro is getting some new features that actually look really awesome. And Apple launched a new Creator Studio subscription that bundles pro apps together. More on that in a bit, but first let's start with the part that you care about most, Final Cut Pro. This update is scheduled to drop on Wednesday, the 28th of January, so it's not available just yet, but this is what's coming. The first of three new features is Visual Search. With Visual Search, it looks like you can just search for anything in your browser window, and that will filter the results based on the content. So that is really cool and a really welcome feature in Final Cut. For editors who work with huge media libraries, this turns hours of hunting for the right shot into just a few clicks. I also wonder if it'll work with shot types or camera angles. So close up or the word drone, that would be really cool. The second new feature is transcript search. Transcript search analyzes speech to instantly find spoken phrases, whether by exact match or related words. So that's actually really nice because I imagine you'd be able to select this drop down over here and change this from is related to, to uh, exact match. So that's really nice because you can either find exact words that are said in your dialogue or to find a specific topic and anything related to that topic. This one is going to be a huge time saver as well. This is huge if you edit interviews, podcasts, or any long form talking head stuff. The third and arguably most exciting feature is beat detection. Beat detection automatically analyzes music so you can map out song parts, bars, and beats in a grid, and then you drop your clips in and snap them to the rhythm. So that's really nice. These green lines over here will be snappable, so we can just snap our clips to that grid. That's a very cool feature and I'm very excited about that one. If you often edit montages, social media edits, or any fast paced sequences to music, this is going to speed up how you cut to the beat. By the way, I'll be making videos about how these new features actually work when they're released, so make sure you're subscribed with notifications turned on so you don't miss them. In the press release, Apple mentions that re-editing music tracks to different lengths is also easier than ever. If you're familiar with Premiere Pro's remix tool, it might mean we're finally getting something like that in Final Cut Pro, where it uses AI to intelligently create cut downs or longer cuts of the music. If this is true, I will be so happy because I often create music cut downs and this would save me a ton of time. So all of these features will be available on the Mac and iPad versions of Final Cut Pro, so that's awesome. However, the iPad is also getting a feature that is not available on Mac, Montage Maker. Apple's press release says the new montage maker in Final Cut Pro for iPad lets users kickstart their edit in just seconds. Using the power of AI, Montage Maker will analyze and edit together a dynamic video based on the best visual moments within the footage. So that looks really cool because we can see all the shots that are going to be used. You can adjust the aspect ratio, auto crop, which I assume selects the subject, and you can adjust the media, music, rearrange the clips, and adjust the speed. I could see myself using this for quick social media edits or editing when I'm on the go. I had a look on the Apple website on the Final Cut Pro page to see if there are any Easter eggs in some of the screenshots that might hint at any additional features. And while I couldn't find much, I did notice one thing. I saw this under the intelligence feature where it says automatically reframe a clip. Your videos adjust seamlessly to fit every aspect ratio. With this being under the intelligence features, I can't help but wonder if this is like an AI powered crop. So if you're taking 16 by nine footage and repurposing it for vertical videos, maybe it will auto detect your subject and auto crop to center the subject. Maybe it even tracks moving subjects. Time will tell, but I'm looking forward to exploring this one a little deeper. But these features are not the only big changes to Final Cut Pro. The biggest change is the introduction of Apple's Creator Studio subscription, a subscription that bundles Final Cut Pro with other Pro apps. Now, don't shoot the messenger here. I know subscriptions are a touchy subject. I'm just sharing the news. The short version is you can subscribe for Creator Studio or you can still buy Final Cut Pro as a one-time purchase. If you already own Final Cut Pro outright, you keep getting updates. Included in the Apple Creator Studio are of course Final Cut Pro, Logic Pro, Pixelmator Pro, as well as Motion and Compressor. There are of course a few other apps as well, but those are the ones that are most important to me and probably to you as well. Apple Creator Studio will be available for $12.99 per month or $129 per year. And that includes access to Final Cut Pro, Logic Pro and Pixelmator Pro on Mac and iPad, Motion, Compressor and Mainstage on Mac, and intelligent features and premium content for a bunch of other apps. 
college students and educators can subscribe for a hugely discounted price as well. And one-time purchase versions are also available and Final Cut Pro will cost $299.99 and Motion will cost $49.99. For people who use multiple apps like Final Cut Pro, Logic Pro and Pixelmator Pro, the studio subscription can be good value because you get access to all of those apps on Mac and iPad and additionally with family sharing, up to six family members can share all of the apps and content included in Apple Creator Studio. It's important to note that you can still choose to purchase Final Cut Pro once off and according to their FAQs, it will continue to be updated. The premium content will only be available to Apple Creator Studio subscribers though. My guess is that it's going to be in the form of templates, sound packs, additional titles and that sort of thing. I don't love the idea of a subscription, but I do like how Apple is giving Final Cut Pro users the choice. Subscribe or pay once off, it's up to you. I think that's pretty cool and hopefully the recurring subscription revenue they get from this encourages bigger and more frequent updates in the future. I'll leave a link to the press release down below if you'd like to check it out for yourself. And while you're waiting for the new update to drop, go ahead and watch this video next.